light and the how to make the dough won't be in this video. If you do want to see how to make the dough, then go check out my previous video. I'll link it around the screen somewhere for you to check out because I didn't want to include it in the same video because it could be too long. So I'm going to be doing just how to make the filling and how to assemble the pie. But if you do want to make your own dough, then go check out that video. The ingredients that you're going to need to make this recipe are five large apples and these are Granny Smith ones. So I have five because they're really large, but if they're medium, then probably go for like seven. If they're really small, maybe go for like eight or something like that. But I've got really large ones, so I'm only going to be using five. The next thing you'll need is some sweetener. So you can use sugar if you want. I'm personally trying to cut out sugar, so I'm using stevia, which is the natural, one of the natural alternatives, unlike equal, which is like full of chemicals. So stevia is a natural sweetener, so I definitely recommend something like that. You'll also need the juice from one lemon, and then lastly, you'll need some cinnamon. The other thing that I forgot to mention is that you'll also need some butter. So if you're looking for exact measurements and amounts of these ingredients, then definitely go check out my blog, judyscooking.com, because there I will have a whole recipe on it from start to finish, all of the ingredients, the method, everything like that. So definitely go check that out if you want to make this yourself. But I will, of course, try and include how much I'm putting in of everything throughout the recipe. Okay, so I'm starting off by placing my dough in the fridge. And if you want to know how to make the dough, then go check out my previous video, like I said earlier, uh, because that's how you make the dough. So I have a larger size and then I have a smaller size. So you'll find out why later. So I'm just going to put these in the fridge for um, about 20, 30 minutes or, you know, until I finish all of the filling. So it's time to get out all of our apples and make sure that you're using Granny Smith apples because they're the best for apple pies. And so now we're just going to decor and uh, peel them. So I actually don't have a decorer, so is that what you call it? I don't have that thing that decors apples. So I'm just going to be doing it by hand, um, peeling it and then cutting it up. But if you do have a decorer, then definitely use that because that would be much easier. Okay. Okay, so now that I've peeled all of the apples, I'm just going to be putting the skins into a bag because I actually make apple and cinnamon skin chips out of the uh, shavings just so that, you know, I don't waste uh, the skins or anything because, I mean, you would waste a lot of it and it's full of fiber, which is really good for you. So I try not to waste them. So I could do a recipe on how I do them, but for now I'm just going to do the apple pie recipe. So the next step is cutting them up. So since I don't have a decorer, like I mentioned before, I'm just going to be cutting them but uh, and cutting around the core. But if you did decor them, it would be a lot easier. I'm really wishing I had one, but I don't. So I'm just going to begin by cutting. So I just cut around the core like that. And then I'm going to take these pieces and probably cut them up to be a lot smaller just so they cook down a lot nicer. So that's one apple down and as you can see I'm cutting them really thinly just because that's what I prefer but you can do whatever you want and I'm just going to chuck them in a big bowl. Okay so finally on to my last apple as you can see I have a lot of apples in this giant um, bowl so I'm just going to cut up my last apple. Okay so now I'm going to be taking a lemon and I'm just going to cut that in half. And then I'm just going to be putting the juice into onto the apples. And if you have a cut on your hand like I do, then you're going to be in some serious pain. But this is really going to stop the apples from going brown. And it's also just going to add a really nice citrus flavor. Okay, so I'm just making sure that the lemon juice is covered all over the apples evenly. And then I'm going to be taking my cinnamon. And you can take any other spices that you like to add. But I'm just going to add lots and lots of cinnamon because I love cinnamon. And then I'm just going to mix it up. I might add a lot more cinnamon actually because I love cinnamon. Not enough to do the cinnamon challenge though, so no one asked me to. So I'm going to be taking a fry pan and then adding my butter. And also adding my third cup of sugar. Actually, I just realized that I don't really think that this uh, natural sugar really works well um, when it's melting on a stove top. I just don't feel like it melts very well, so I'm going to be using brown sugar instead. And I know I said I'm cutting out sugar, but... This is for the purpose of the recipe because I think I tried it last time and it just didn't work out very well. So I'm just going to be adding about that much of brown sugar and then I'm going to be putting this onto the stove to melt. So once the sugar and butter is melted together like this, just add your apples into the mixture. 
then put that on the stove to simmer and further cook. So now it's time to take out your pie tray as well as your two little balls of dough. So take a clean uh, cutting board or just your bench and then put a bit of flour on it just to cover the surface. I'm going to be taking a rolling pin and just rolling that out. Don't forget to cover your rolling pin in a bit of flour and then proceed to roll out the dough. So now that your dough is all rolled out, just take a bit more flour and rub it onto your rolling pin again and then proceed to roll your dough up onto the rolling pin and then just position it so that there's no um, spaces. Okay, and so that is the base done. Now leave your smaller bit of dough for after you put the filling in there. Otherwise it'll go dry and then you'll have missed your chance to be able to put it over. So now just leave your smaller ball all wrapped up until you have the filling in there and then you'll roll it out and put it on top. Okay, so these are what the apples look like when they've just been taken out of the frying pan and they were simmering in the frying pan on a really low heat for about 15-20 minutes. So now they're really, really hot and I'm just going to be putting them in the fridge before we can do anything with them. So about 15-20 minutes in the fridge. Actually, I think they're probably only going to need around 10 minutes. So while you're waiting for your apples to cool down, you can take your smaller dough and then we can roll this one out. So just plop it onto the flour. If you can see that and then uh, lightly dust your rolling pin and then you can roll it out okay so the apples have cooled down a lot so we're just going to be placing them into the pie dish like this oh I think there's too many actually or no we'd fit them all okay so now we're going to put the top on our pie so I'm just going to roll um, it up and then put it on top Okay, and then just squish it down. I like to use a fork to just seal the edges down. So now I'm just going to be lightly washing over some egg on top of the apple pie. And this is just going to make sure that um, it browns up and gets a nice golden coat on top. And I made a cute little love heart to stick on top, so I'm just going to place that on top and then I'm going to brush over that with some egg as well. Now this is going to sit in the freezer for about 20 minutes. Now that this has been sitting in the freezer for about 15-20 minutes, I'm going to be placing it into the oven on 180 degrees to bake for about 30 to 40 minutes. of my apple pie recipe i really hope that you guys enjoyed it don't forget to send me a picture if you do try it out you can email me at mail at geordiescooking.com you can tweet me instagram me whatever you would like to do i would love to see it i absolutely love seeing when you guys recreate my recipes so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to thumbs up this video if you found it helpful subscribe for more recipes and i'll talk to you really soon in my next video bye everyone